Hello, I'm Llewellyn King, the co-host of MEC Airless Alert, which I founded with my friend and colleague Deborah Waroff, who lives in New York and who sadly is a patient. Today I'm joined for this broadcast by Rob Wabenga, who's from Holland, and I want to know what is your interest in this subject? I got interested, of course, because my wife suffered from MECFS, although we didn't know that uh, that was the name of the disease she suffered from, because little is known among uh, doctors and medicals in Holland about the disease. So we just kind of uh, groped into the dark about uh, the cause of her symptoms uh, until she, she deceased on the 25th of September. 2010. And then afterwards I got involved into the Dutch ME CFS Association and foolishly enough they chose me as a chairman half a year later. So before I didn't have any medical knowledge about ME at all because we were completely shut off from the outside world. What was your own profession before you became involved? Um, I was a clerk, mm. but the last 20 years of my life uh, I have been a, a caretaker, a caregiver to my life. And the many people have had to give up their whole lives in, in care. Yeah, yeah. It, it's a choice you, you, you make or you, you don't. There are a lot of divorces also because the social, it has large social implications of course, this disease. By um, the lack of cognitive functions, etc., the lack of. Um, so your wife was ill for for uh, twenty two years or so something. Yeah, twenty two years at least. We don't know where it started. Like many cases. How long were you married before she fell Actually, ill? Actually, I, I I knew her when she was already ill. So we thought that uh, she suffered just from back problems. And that with a couple of operations, back uh, upper lower back operations, uh, her, her illness would be gone. But, uh, her condition deteriorated by exercise, by therapy, by uh, physiotherapy. So we didn't understand it. We just had to see how she slowly slipped down. What is the social acceptance, and what are the social structures in Europe for taking care of patients? We in America tend to think of Europe as having superb social services, the famous welfare states. Is that in fact so? It depends because um, in Holland and also in Belgium the situation is a bit like in England that if you have, uh, if you suffer from a, uh, an illness which can't be diagnosed, uh, the link is easily uh, made to, uh, to a psychological disease. So. Um, annex uh, are the, um, the, the, the um, for example, the the, the, the social um, the social welfare. If you try to um, to apply for um, for social welfare, for example, um, you have to prove that you have a, a physical illness, or else. Uh, they force you, they, co they coerce you to follow psychological treatments, which we know is at first to, uh, to, the, to, the, to the health of an ME patient. So there's a catch-22. There is a good health system, but only for those who can be clearly diagnosed. So that we have the same problem globally. In yeah. Britain, we have it in the US, uh, where the first inclination of the medical profession and of the authorities that control medicine is to take the psychological route oh, that's the because it's way. faster and it's easier and it's cheaper. Would that mm. be a reasonable assessment? Yeah, that's the, uh, that's the same reason, yeah, uh, absolutely. Yeah. How, how much disability did your wife have? It seems to me in interviewing patients they go through good periods and bad periods and periods of, of total collapse. No, she declined continuously because there is no cure. So that's what the professor said. Um, if there's no treatment, the patient worsens, gets worse and worse. So in the end, she had 
mm, very severe pains also, neuropathic pains. Mm. And it was striking to me mm, that no, 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 med no, med uh, not no one for the medical profession could explain it. Um, our um, association is into a wonderful project which I informed you about, Science to Patients. And in that, uh, in that situation I talked to Professor de Malin about a year after my wife had deceased to, to talk about uh, the, the takes we were going to him. And he explained the pains my wife suffered in two lines. So that uh, illustrates how urgent the situation is in the lowlands. Because here we have an illness, which we might, for the American audience, just explain the Lowlands, uh, uh, the, the uh, Holland, uh, Belgium, etc. Uh -huh. Right. Yeah. I'm, I'm just trying to do that. Okay. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. That's great. Come on. So that explains how how urgent and how painful the situation is in the Lowlands, in the Netherlands, and the Belgium, because the symptom the symptoms can be uh, explained and they can be helped in certain uh, circumstances, but nothing is done. Tell me more about your association and the science to the patient. Mm -hmm. uh, tell me about that. That I think is very interesting. Okay, the beauty of it is that um, the Dutch government until now only subsidized uh, research which has been done by psychiatrists and psychologists. Now in a way in combination with the MS Association and another small patient organization, we managed to get a project subsidized in which scientists well versed on the disease, in our case ME, would give um, online uh, discourses, online se short seminars based on uh, questions of patients. So that's a very low level of, uh, of interviewing. Um, the, the thought behind this is uh, that patients get better informed in their disease, so they are more well versed in their context with their physicians. Uh, the physicians themselves get to know better the needs of the patients. Now originally this was a, a Dutch project, but as we already had a translation team and we translated uh, articles about uh, ME into English, into Dutch, from English to Dutch, we decided to translate the Dutch seminars into English and to uh, disseminate them all over the world. Because the thought behind is that uh, the Netherlands and, Engl and, and, and Holland of Belgium are isolated. Uh, the power is with the psychologists and the psychiatrists. So, we should import the disease ME, let's call it, from countries where it is known. So to break the barriers, we should disseminate and, and, and share the knowledge all over the world. That was the thought behind it. And this is working well, is it? It is working well, yeah, yeah, yeah. it is working well. What sort of subsidy is the Dutch government giving to your work? Is it enough to sustain it over one year, two year, five years? It is years? only a three year project. So afterwards, we'll have to see how we can continue it on a very low budget, non-subsidized. Here on this program, we've sort of refined what we try to do to three things, which is to comfort the sick, uh -huh. to educate the doctors, and to shame the government. Uh -huh. uh, would you be in accord with that? Yeah, absolutely, 100%. Well, I, I wish you luck in your noble work, and I'm deeply grieved to hear about your wife. Well, thank you so much. Thank you so much.